Hello friends, as believers, we all have a valid personal concern. We want to know where we will be at the end of our lives on earth. Our natural desire is to be with God in heaven. And yes, that is possible because that is exactly the will of God for us. As in Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have it to the full. Of course, the desire of life with God is the fullness of life on earth. Having said that, let us see where the trouble lies. The trouble begins when we want to know about others. Will my neighbor or my colleague or my fellow parishioner who is not as holy as I am, who does not say as many prayers as I do, be saved? The most popular belief among many Jews in Jesus' time was that salvation was based on external factors like race and ritual. Many believed that you had to be a Jew to win God's favor and have to follow the law of Moses to his minutest detail. When asked, Lord, will only a few people be saved? Jesus uses the opportunity to correct such wrong ideas. Just look at how Jesus answers that query. He chooses not to answer it directly. Instead, he says, strive to enter through the narrow gate. In other words, there are no shortcuts and easy routes to a life with God. Neither your race, nor your external appearance, nor even the ritual you perform can be your key to eternal life. Rather, we have to work our way to eternal life by being the person God wants us to be. There is no automatic admission to heaven. Not even our attendance at the celebration of the Holy Mass, our participation in novenas and prayer services, and our fasting and abstinence can bring us automatic entry into heaven. All these are good and noble, no doubt but they are worth nothing if unaccompanied by a genuine change of heart and love of neighbor. In other words, we can't just sit back and take our prospects of salvation for granted. We need to enter through the narrow gate. The truth is, entering the narrow gate requires an enormous amount of self-sacrifice and self-discipline. It means being less proud and more humble, less prejudiced and more open, less judgmental and more understanding, being less prone to anger and more inclined to love, less arrogant and more merciful. It means to repent, to turn ourselves around and make necessary changes in our lives. People who were excluded from the heavenly banquet complained that the Lord had actually taught in their streets. But the Lord answers by telling them, I do not know where you are from. Maybe they did meet him on some street somewhere. But the question here is, did they let him into their hearts or did they leave him out on the street? Remember, to enter into life, it is not enough that we recognize Jesus it is more important that Jesus recognizes us and then for our part that we let him into our hearts. Let the peace of Christ reign in your hearts. God bless you.